happening. Another day, easing into retirement, loving life. No more Mondays in this world. Now, if you guys have been following our saga, uh, one of the first things I said I was going to do in retirement, a lot of people asked me, they said, what are you going to, what's the first thing you're going to do when you retire? I'm going to get a new truck. That's what I said. I'm going to get a new truck. Well, we're still driving this 2008 Chevy Silverado 1500. And uh, we've been very limited as to where we can go with our Hemi pulling our travel trailer. Uh, being that this truck doesn't quite have the towing capacity. So we were limited to just doing stuff in north, uh, northern Ohio where it was level. Uh, where we didn't have to do a lot of big grades, hills, no mountains. We couldn't go down into southern Ohio. We couldn't go into Pennsylvania. Just too many grades. So with that being said, we've been looking for a truck trying to upgrade. Well, that's been no easy task at all. I don't know how many trucks we've been through already. How many dealers, how many salespeople, how many phone calls? And searching the internet and, you know, work trucks are a dime a dozen. We didn't want a work truck. The work trucks have the rubber floor mat, you know, the standard vinyl seats. Uh, they're and, very stripped down, basic. No, and they're all white. And, and a majority of them are white. So, and you go online looking for trucks, they're either white or red. You know, I, I've said this before, I'm not a fireman, I don't want a red truck. I, I don't want a white truck. Um, we were hoping to find something with a pretty good color, and we knew what we wanted. We wanted a tow package with the navigation system and the trailer mirrors. So many trucks do not have trailer mirrors. They have these standard little mirrors which don't work with uh, RV because they need to go out about that much farther so I had to put these extensions on these things uh, just to make it work right and that's a big pain in the neck too so we've been looking for all those things in a truck and haven't been able to find them backup camera hitch yeah, yeah a whole um, trailer package yeah Buying a truck is hard. I mean, they're not out there. They're, they're just not, uh, especially pre-owned vehicles, you can't get. And if you go for a new one, boy, oh boy, they're almost expensive as a house. Mm -hmm. So I was very frustrated about this whole thing. And being a man of God that I am, I, I don't always, you know, pray enough. I don't go to church like I should. Um, but I thought, okay, you know, I, I should, you know, ask God to help me with this a little bit. So, and I didn't ask God for a new truck, okay, because that, that's not the way it works. But I asked God to give me some direction, some guidance, uh, to give me wisdom to make the right decision, not to make a, a dumb decision. And uh, I just kind of left it like that. So, the story goes like this. Last night... We went out to dinner at a place called Rockney's, and it's on Route 18. Well, we have to take a road home called River Sticks. And we were discussing the truck, how frustrating it is, and where else are we going to look? We've tried everywhere. When I look out the window, and coming towards us on the other side of the road is a great big silver pickup truck, brand new, and the license plate holder on the front said Laria, L-A-R-I-A. And I said, oh, I'm going to Google that. He's got a brand new big truck. Why are they so hard to find? So I Googled it, and I found seven trucks at his location. And I finally stumbled on one of the seven that was graphite, trailer mirrors, navigation, backup camera, trailer hitch, 4x4. Four four. I'm like, okay, how many miles are in it? Oh, zero, zero miles. It's a 2018. I said, Mark, you're going to have to look at this when we get home just to make sure that I'm not missing something. So there you go. I mean, what are the odds that we're driving down the road and she sees this license plate that says Larry, okay? And then we didn't even know what that was. She says, isn't that a dealer? And I, I said, yeah, I think it is. And she looks it up and, and here that dealer has this truck that just seems too good to be true. And the price was right in our in our ballpark. 
And I said, that's crazy. Something, something's not, doesn't sound right about that. I, I got to check that out. So we came home. I got on the computer. And I looked it up. And sure enough, they had a brand new truck. And they had marked it way down. I guess it had been on the lot for a while. I don't know why. And not, uh, nothing wrong with it. Um, it's four-wheel drive, the whole shot. I mean, it's, it's everything we wanted and then some. So <laughs> we thought, well, let's... Uh, we, what you, we got on there, I think there was a couple of things you could click that, that said give us an estimate or have somebody call us or something, and mm -hmm. we did that. So this morning they called, and they said, well, if you want to see it, come on up. It's sitting on the lot. So that's what we did. We went up to look at it today, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And then what happened? We bought a new truck. <laughs> we bought a new truck. So why are we still sitting in the old truck? Because we didn't really know we were going to buy this truck. We thought we were just going to look. Yeah. But after we went and looked at it and and went through all the paperwork and everything and realized, oh my gosh, we can do this and that's exactly what we want. And it's brand new. It's not pre-owned. So it's got the wa full warranty and everything, extended warranty package, and, and you just can't beat it. But then I realized, you know... We had all kinds of stuff in this truck. We had half a load of firewood in the back from camping. And so we told the guy, we said, well, hey, I know we just bought this truck and we could drive it home right now, but we got to go home and unload this truck and get all of our the CDs out of here, all of our stuff jammed up in the visors, umbrellas out of the back seat, and half a load of firewood in the back. <laughs> Which he kind of laughed at, but it was me. I just couldn't see putting dirty old firewood in a brand new truck. No, we weren't going to swap it over into the new truck. So be rolling all over. Half the, place. the stuff we had in this truck, we probably won't even put in the new truck, but we'll see how it goes. But anyways, we're going to head back there now. We got about a 20-minute drive, and pick up our brand new truck. We'll share it with you. Yeah, we'll take you along for the ride. <laughs> If you hit the left arrow, it pulls up a submenu. You can use the up and down to change which one. Huh. The check mark to select. Okay. So when you're at info, it's going to be your digital speed along with the speed limit. Again, when it's entered into the navigation system, it'll update as you pass the sign. This is the voice for right now. Now, as you can tell, it gives you the, the physical turn by turn map up on the radio screen along with your mileage, time, and ETA. And then it gives you the turn by turn down here. This is my favorite feature. I have it yeah. I have it in my car. I use it constantly. I like the phone thing so he's not fiddling with his phone. Right. And it, it takes the Bluetooth so with your Bluetooth you'll still receive and be able to make phone calls and be able to use the voice commands. But this expands on it by showing you, I mean it is your Apple home screen. Mm -hmm. uh, again, your maps, it consistently updates with your phone. You know, so, so it'll show you your degree of tilt and everything that you'll need for the off-road. Your POIs are your points of interest. So you can see fuel and auto, food and nightlife, travel, lodging, shopping. There's all kinds of different things. Now, your weather. It'll show you an hourly, which it's every three hours. A five day. It'll show you the weather on the route. So if you're going to go camping in... Charlotte mm -hmm. you can and you have it set to take you to Charlotte it'll show you the weather so if you're going through Virginia and right on that Virginia North Carolina border there's a huge thunderstorm mm -hmm. it'll tell you good grief <laughs> I, I, I'm, I not, I'm not gonna get <laughs> half of this it's just <laughs> yeah, I just want to put this out there I have free training sessions so if you want to come oh out, my <laughs> gosh when you come back to get your tonneau cover if you're like Adam I can't figure out the navigation. I'll be more than happy to go back over it with you. Yeah, you might have to. I will. <laughs> um, you fluent in any other language besides no, English? I'll leave that on English. I struggle with English <laughs> sometimes myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're buying a truck today, and we had the best salesman ever, Adam. Hi there. And uh, you've been doing this, what did you tell since you were 19? Yes, sir. It's be six years in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and and I'm telling you, this guy is, is really up on you know filling us in on everything we had to know about this this rig so you know as you see there's quite a bit to know and i'm not going to take it all in right away but i'll, I'll get it 
You said I can come back, right? Absolutely. I do free training class. You can only come back 800 times. <laughs> 800 times well That's we may be at least 700 times to come back to get it all figured out <laughs> <laughs> well i sure appreciate your help adam absolutely. absolutely it was a pleasure thank you very much thank it was you. a pleasure thank you i really enjoyed it all right i really enjoyed it larry uh, uh chevrolet in ripman ohio and if you're going to buy a, a vehicle especially a truck this is the place to come this is the place and to look do for it. adam because that's a great guy to work with. Thank you very much. If you don't remember Adam, just ask for the young guy. I'm the youngest by about 10 years. So. Yep, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Valerie looks happy as a lark. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm happy that he's happy. That's, that's <laughs> the important thing. You got the truck you guys were looking for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One big day, driving a brand new truck. Couldn't get any better than this. Check it out, peeps. Got this beautiful console with the navigation and everything. Good stereo system, good sound. Rides just as comfortable as our other truck. It'll take some getting used to though to know all this thing is like a computer. There's so many things this this truck can do. Crazy, crazy. Probably half the stuff I'll never ever use. But uh, really cool. I am super thrilled. <laughs> I'm like a little kid at Christmas. <laughs> you should be. You deserve it. All right, cats. So we got the truck home. And uh, I'll just give you a little once around on it. I'm pretty darn happy with it. And uh, I mean, my new toy, so why not? <laughs> it's a 2018 Silverado, heavy duty, four wheel drive. It has the chrome uh, steps. Uh, she's a beauty. The color is what they call a graphite metallic. Oh, by the way, trailer mirrors. These are LED lights that come on that light up everything back here if you turn them on. You got a little turn signal uh, lights right up here in the mirror. They're heated mirrors, so you can melt the ice off of them. They're power mirrors. And as Adam showed you, they do slide out for trailering. Interior, we got cloth seats, a uh, nice console. Uh, the console opens up, the top part opens up, and uh, then if you flip this up, there's also another console underneath there. So you got plenty of storage space. You got a top glove box, a bottom glove box, and there's also like a little storage compartment right down there. So I'll just give you some basics. Uh, this seat is manual. The driver's seat is a power seat. It's got a tilt wheel. It's got a telescopic steering wheel. That uh, thing's pretty, pretty loaded. Here's another cool thing that I like. It's got the running lights up on top. Really cool. I like that. <laughs> uh, the back, it's got the steps. You know, you can fit your foot in there to climb up. It's going to set a little higher than our 1500. Uh, it's got the box hitch. And it's got uh, electric. It's got a flat plug and the uh, plug that we use for the Hemi. Uh, the bed, actually, there you have a bed light up there, but there's actually LED lights up underneath here that light up everything under here. We do have a trifold cover that we ordered for it. It's coming next week, and they'll put it on for us. What I like about this, uh, the, the back door, it's got like one, two, three storage compartments in each back door. So I've got my little ratchet straps for tying stuff down in the bed. And the bed does have the uh, little ring hooks on each side. And it's got them in the front too, so you can tie stuff down. I never leave home without off, because if you're going on a hike or something and you're in the woods, I also always carry a pair of gloves if I need them, especially for the trailer. And then of course my driving gloves I keep down here in the door for winter time. 
but uh, this thing is really cool. Here's your four-wheel drive button. You can go from two-wheel to four-wheel drive at 50 mile an hour. If you go into four low for off-roading, you have to put it in neutral. Here's the brake controller up here for the trailer. That's really neat. You can adjust, you know, your, your trailer braking here. And, and you can hit th these, you squeeze these together, and that applies uh, trailer brakes with, without pushing the uh, brake pedal on the floor. But it's all in integral, so if you have the trailer hooked up and you hit that brake, the trailer brakes are going to work uh, in conjunction with that. Oh, it's got, I, I can't even begin to explain to you everything, because this onboard system here is like a computer it does everything and it also comes up on this monitor here so you, when you're driving you don't have to take your eyes over there you can glance straight down at this little monitor and still be able to see what's going on over there it has navigation it has radio it has bluetooth telephone thing um it's got a cool little uh console up here you got lights these control your running lights up top you got a little sunglasses holder there up top um, you got your grab bars and one over there the other truck didn't have those grab bars they're nice to have for you know climbing in and out you pull that down you can hang on to that to climb and there's also a grab bar here on each side because as i said it's a little higher of a step that's why this running board step board comes in really handy so that's the truck in a nutshell it's a beauty i am really really liking it uh we got our insurance all set up today not too bad just raises it a little bit with the brand new truck payment but there she is, a 2018 Silverado, and one <laughs> happy guy. I'm just relieved that I don't have to search for a truck anymore. We found exactly what we wanted. So happy, happy trails, and I'm looking forward to seeing what this thing can do to pull that thing way over there. You get pull that thing out and head down the road, and we should be able to go anywhere we want in the country with this thing.